Every day more and more people are moving to Southwest Florida. Many of them choose to live in Fort Myers, one of the fastest growing MSAs in the country. I'm Randy Henderson, mayor of Fort Myers, and I'm proud to say that we attract many new residences and visitors because of the weather, water sports, and our employment opportunities. Keeping up with this growth is no small task. The big challenge is to provide citizens with safe streets, dependable utilities, and a superior quality of life. Our employees work very hard to achieve this goal. While the people of Fort Myers pursue their daily routines, they probably never think about how the city helps support their activities and how we use tax dollars to maintain and preserve the health and safety of our citizens. By following a typical day in the lives of some of our residents, we'll see how the City of Fort Myers Public Works Department serves you. It all starts here, at the Utility Billing Division. The staff in this office handles billing, collections, and customer inquiries. They serve our new arrivals and residents who've moved here by processing orders for water and sewer connections and solid waste disposal. They pass service orders to the Field Operations Division, which installs water meters and carries out startup and shut off requests. To make things easier, you can now pay your bill online or through a convenient drive through window. Here's something you probably never thought about. How the water gets to your home in Fort Myers and how it leaves. That is the primary concern of the Public Works Operations Division. Their responsibilities include the management of service connections that deliver water to our homes and take it away. The division maintains valves, fire hydrants, sewage connections, lift stations, and related systems that are vital to our convenience, health, and safety. Another critical responsibility is stormwater drainage. That includes building and maintaining swales, canals, and the entire system that keeps summer storms from flooding the city. Have you ever thought about how the Operations Division keeps you safe on our city roads? They do this by maintaining traffic signals and stop signs, repairing potholes and broken sidewalks, and assuring the operation of the city's streetlights. Remember that glass of water? Here's why the water is safe to drink. Because of the Water Treatment Division. It operates the city's water treatment plant, processing millions of gallons of water a day using a process called reverse osmosis. This water plant provides all of the city of Fort Myers drinking water. The Wastewater Treatment Division operates the area's two regional facilities, processing millions of gallons of wastewater a day from the City of Fort Myers and portions of Lee County. The Division's State Certified Testing Laboratory assures that treated wastewater meets the highest regulatory standards. Reclaimed water is diverted for irrigation and industrial uses, a process that the City will expand over the next several years. A program was recently completed to upgrade the disinfection process at both facilities. Fort Myers residents bring their garbage and recycling materials out to the curb on their scheduled days, and when they come home from work, it's gone. You can thank the Division of Solid Waste for that. After all, what would you do with your trash if nobody picked it up? The division is responsible for the collection of trash and yard waste from all commercial and residential customers in the city. They also protect the environment by collecting recyclables. They provide roll-off collection services for construction and demolition projects, yard and land cleanup, and any other solid waste disposal needs. Be sure to check the waste collection information you receive so that you sort your recyclables correctly. It's a big help. By the way, the city provides your 90-gallon waste container as part of your service and is the only governmental entity in the area that offers waste collection to residents twice a week.
Fort Myers residents are proud of the city's reputation as the City of Palms. And for that, we depend on the Parks and Beautification Division. Their job is to care for over 4,800 palm trees on our city's property. They feed and irrigate the trees during the dry season, replace them if needed, and create educational palm parks like this one at Edwards Drive and Lee Street. Even more important, the division maintains over 220 acres of parks and greenways in the city, keeping athletic fields in a safe and playable condition making sure all playground equipment is up to national standards, and nurturing all the grass and plants that make our parks and our city beautiful. Another beautiful part of our city is our two award-winning golf courses. Under the administration of the Department of Public Works, the Golf Course Division's highly qualified professional staff supervises and facilitates the playing of over 120,000 rounds of golf every year at the city's two courses. Fort Myers Country Club is especially popular with golfers who enjoy walking the course and with the area's upcoming junior golfers. The award-winning Eastwood course was created by noted golf course designers Bob Von Hagee and Bruce Devlin. It's considered one of the best public courses in America. The city's recreation division provides safe, high quality facilities and activities for all members of our diverse community. That includes parks with soccer and softball fields, community centers, public swimming pools, The star of the city's recreation division is the STARS Complex. This facility is central to the lives of area children, providing a safe place for children 6 through 14 to play, study, and develop positive personal qualities. The after-school program is especially important. Here, the city provides a computer lab, study hall, and academic tutoring, including preparation for the FCAT testing program. The recreational facilities are just as impressive, including a junior Olympic pool, tennis courts, playground, basketball courts, aerobics, and instruction in martial arts. There are also youth and adult sports leagues at many locations, as well as dances and senior activities at the community centers. The division has been quite successful in bringing the community together through athletics and social activities. The city of Fort Myers runs only as well as its cars, trucks, and heavy equipment. The Fleet Maintenance Division is responsible for the functioning of all of the city's vehicles. It's not too much to say that everyone in Public Works depends on the mechanics, technicians, and other employees in this division. The police depend on them, and firefighters too. All city mechanics are ASE certified but they're also specially certified to maintain firefighting equipment and to keep it dependable. They do everything from fixing flats and pulling dents to collision repair and engine rebuilding. This division works full time to keep our people on the road and at your service. Keeping things running requires a large organization of people and the facilities where they work must be built and maintained. The Capital Projects Division is responsible for this important task. We call it vertical construction, and it includes all of the city's buildings and similar structures like piers, docks, and seawalls. They write the contracts and oversee the planning, design, and construction of all city building projects everything from small offices to multi-million dollar projects such as new fire stations. Then the division manages each facility taking care of maintenance and repairs for all city buildings. The city engineering division is the cornerstone of what is known as horizontal construction. That includes wastewater systems, water systems, drainage, bridges, lift stations, roads, sidewalks, and similar projects. 
They're also responsible for inspection services and construction projects totaling over $100 million a year. City engineers work with builders and developers, reviewing plans to assure that construction meets city standards. They issue permits for construction and repair of sidewalks, sewage and drainage systems, bridges, and other important elements of the city's infrastructure. Whether it's building a whole new road or utility system, it all starts right here. All these divisions are coordinated and managed by the Public Works Department, which includes the director and his administrative staff. They're in charge of the overall functioning of all Public Works divisions and the relationships among them, as well as coordinating the citywide capital improvement budget and seeking grant opportunities to help pay for new projects. Equally important, the department assumes responsibility for hurricane preparedness, coordinating with other government and public safety agencies. This also includes restoring services as quickly as possible after a storm event. You might say that they're the true first responders, clearing roads and assuring safety so that fire, police, and medical teams can reach the people who require assistance. Fort Myers is a thriving city, and like most towns, it's like a jigsaw puzzle made of hundreds of pieces that have to fit together just right. When they do, they make a fabulous picture. The Public Works Department strives to make sure the city of Fort Myers remains the bright and beautiful City of Palms. <laughs>